It's all about the strategy, the long-term game plan. Personally, I fucking despise avocados. Go do this, quinoa that, yuck. But if you want broad appeal on Insta, your story had better be full of seepy breakfast shots. Dan Tilly was immediately obvious to me. I liked him enough. Very photogenic and the sex was great. But it wasn't until he insisted we do more stuff together that the awesome power of my man candy revealed itself to me. I started getting offers. Eat here for free, as long as you take a few pics together with the meal for your story. At least at first. Eventually, they actually started paying for our snugly Nashville slathered food diaries. We were Insta famous. The comments, the fans, the gifts, love and adoration. It's the greatest rush, the highest high. People wanted to be me or be with me. They wanted to taste my breakfast, gaze at my sunsets, hold my hand, even wear my makeup. If only Dan wasn't so fucking boring. He actually loves quinoa, smoothies and jogging. He knows all about this craft beer and that cheese maker. And the worst part is he doesn't even have his own fucking Instagram. He thinks I should take less photos. Live more in the moment, babe. As if. I'd fucking kill myself.